Okay. So the main problem with DFT algorithm is its computation time. Okay, it takes more time to compute. To reduce the computation time, we go for an FFT algorithm. So FFT algorithm was introduced by uh, Cooley and Turkey, two scientists. Okay. So we'll see about this FFT algorithm. Why uh, DFT? Why FFT is faster compared to DFT? Actually, if you see DFT, if you remember, DFT is nothing but uh, you have your original DTFT. You have your original discrete time Fourier transform where the frequency spectrum extends from minus infinity to plus infinity. The frequency spectrum extends from minus infinity to plus infinity. This, the same spectrum, what we do is that we pick out n points. We pick out n points alone. These n points are called as n point DFT. Okay. These n points are called as n point DFT. So if it is a very wide spectrum, it will be very difficult and the computation will be very high. That's why we go for an endpoint DFT, basically. But to compute the endpoint DFT itself, it takes a lot of time. Okay. So we have seen the kind of a calculations. So what is the formula for DFT? It's of k is equal to anyone? How will you compute DFT, the formula? Formula, what is the n lower limit and upper limit? What is the upper limit of n? What is the upper limit of n? I'm uh, still giving you the answer. What is the upper limit? DFT, I'm asking about the DFT formula. I need an answer. What I have to fill in here? No answers. So everyone is sleeping. N minus 1. Okay. N minus 1 is correct. E power minus J 2 pi N K by N where K runs from 0 to N minus 1. Okay. So entire spectrum of your DFT runs between 0 to N. The entire spectrum runs between 0 to N. Okay. We also introduced in the last class something called as twiddle factor. It is equal to e power minus j 2 pi by n. This is called as twiddle factor. With the twiddle factor, we rephrased our h of k as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 h of n w n power n k where k runs from 0 to n minus 1. Okay. So three weeks, two weeks back, this is what we have ended up with. This is the final relation we have ended up with. Okay. So we're going to start from here. Okay. So basic problem in DFT is it doesn't use the two main properties. One is the symmetry property and the periodicity property. It doesn't use these two properties. What is this property? We'll see. First one is periodicity. Wn of k plus n is equal to Wn of k. What it means? What this equation means? Your signal is periodic for every n samples. Every n, it gets repeated again and again. Okay, for every n, this gets repeated. Okay, this is one property. Second property is Wn 
k plus n by 2 okay it is equal to w n power k okay say so say you have uh, uh, n eight point dft you have eight point dft eight point dft okay the twiddle factor uh, say uh, for uh, zero to four and four to eight will be almost same okay zero to four and four to eight the twiddle factor okay will be same we can use this property okay it will be minus actually this is the only change okay so these two properties this is periodicity this is symmetry these two properties but we have not discussed these properties before so uh, you will not be able to appreciate it but we will be using these two properties in our fft computation okay second thing in all your fft fft every normula we re rename it as how will you call it as raditz 2 fft this is the way you rename uh, fft okay why it is called raditz is uh, normal and the n point dft in so and the n is nothing but 2 power m so you'll have uh, 4 point dft uh, 8 point dft 16 point dft 32 point DFT and it goes on. Okay. So it starts from 2.48, 16, it goes on in this one. Okay. You don't have a 5 point DFT. You don't have a 7 point DFT. Okay. So normally it will be having this pattern. So this is called as Raditz 2. This is called as Raditz 2 FFT. Okay. Now we'll directly uh, go into uh, solving uh, simple challenges uh, with our FFT algorithm. Uh, before that, uh, we'll see one more thing. Okay, we are going to use two algorithms: the DFT using FFT or FFT using DAT, DFT. You have two algorithms. We are going to use it. One is called as DIT algorithm, which is which expands as decimation in time algorithm. And DIF algorithm is the second algorithm we are going to use. It's called as decimation in frequency. Decimation in time and decimation in frequency. Okay. So in any DSP question paper, compulsorily there will be a question on FFT. Without FFT, there will not be any DSP question paper. Okay. So other things may be present, may not be present. But if it is a DSP question paper, definitely using any one of these algorithms, they'll be asking a particular challenge. So this is very, very important in that aspect, as well as learning about FFT. Okay. When it comes, so we'll first take up DAT algorithm, then we'll go for a DIF algorithm. Okay. So first thing we are going to see is called as DIT algorithm. I put it in the chat box. What is DIT? Just now I told. Put it in the chat box. What is DIT? Put it in the chat box. Okay. Thank you. So decimation in time. Okay. Fine. Either number. Uh, you're going to see something called as butterfly diagram. Okay. You're going to see something called as butterfly diagram. This is the basic of DAT. Uh, DAT model, any FFT algorithm, okay? the complete FFT algorithm, the basic is a butterfly diagram. Okay. The butterfly is going to be different for uh, DAT and DIF. How the butterfly typically looks like. Okay. Say this is uh, H0, this is say H4. I'll just put it like this. I'll have a notation like this H0, H4. Okay. Now, um, just carefully observe what I'm doing W n power n. And uh, here it is W n power n minus see it 
uh, if we want uh, we'll just a minute i'll do so anyway And this is some uh, h of uh, n1. I'll make it generalized. h of n2. OK. This will, we'll see this butterfly diagram. I'm going to give you the basic structure. So this is how, in a DAT algorithm, the basic structure comes like, OK? Uh, say this is one input. This is one input. Say this is h of n1. This is h of n2, OK? And uh, I'm putting like this. So here it is, h of n1 plus wnn h of n2. Here it is, h of n1 minus, see the weightage. See, this h of n1 is multiplied with wnn and it is added here. Okay, see this is the way minus wnn h of n2 okay this is the basic butterfly diagram you will be using for uh, dat algorithm just you are able to understand what i am putting here uh, even though you are not able to make sense what is all this one okay but uh, as of this 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 diagram is called as butterfly diagram okay so here you have wn this is a total factor okay the same thing that we have seen here the same thing we have seen here okay this one okay uh, fft is somewhat graphical it's somewhat graphical you don't go by traditional ways it is some graphical the wn you are able to understand this step it will not make sense to you now. It will not make any sense to you now. Only if you uh, start solving problems, it will make more. Uh, as of now, you're able to understand what I'm doing. Plainly, as of from the screen, uh, we have one algorithm as DAT. We're going to use some butterflies. I have two inputs. I'm using the weighted total factors here, WN power N. Here it is h of n plus wn h of n. And here it is h of n1 minus wn h of n2. OK. You're able to follow up to this. I'm just asking plainly just what is given in that uh, page. You're able to follow. It makes sense really only if you start solving problems. You're able to follow up to this point. Just give me a confirmation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Okay. When you actually go into those algorithm, will it makes more sense? Fine. Now we'll start with a simple challenge so that uh, we'll take it forward. Okay. Um, find the, we'll take the first challenge. We'll directly go with the challenge. Actually, uh, to understand the algorithm, you need to actually uh, derive a general case. But I'm, I'm not going into that. It will take more time. So I'm directly taking up the challenge and we'll see how to solve it. Okay. Find the DFT of a sequence. Okay h of n is equal to we'll take a sequence 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 something like a palindrome okay we are taking a sequence find take down the question first question is find the dft of the given sequence using dit algorithm using dit algorithm okay Find the DFT of a given sequence. H of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 using DIT algorithm. Okay. Okay. 
So what we are going to do is, um, you have the DAT algorithm. You have the DAT algorithm. You are going to present the inputs. You are going to present these inputs, and this is going to give you your h of k. In the book, h of n could grow. H of k okay. In the algorithm, every work on the you have a lot of butterflies. You have a lot of butterflies. Okay, we're going to see how this is going to work. Okay, first thing, first step, step one. Step one is in DAT algorithm. Step one in DAT algorithm. Step one is you need to. Uh, get the bit reversal pattern get bit reversal pattern okay one one up no need to worry okay uh, you need to get the bit reversal pattern okay even the this is common for or eight point dft are the or four point dft for each one it will be common this is a eight point dft right how many data length of the sample what is the length of the sample what is the length of the sample here how many data are there in this sample eight. okay so l is 8 length of the sample is 8 we choose n also 8 okay it is a 8 point dft we are going to compute we are going to compute an 8 point dft okay so how to do the bit reversal okay uh, for any 8 point dft this is common this step is common okay irrespective of the input irrespective of the input for a eight point dft this step is common okay uh, so input sample index what i mean by input sample index is you have eight samples right zero one two three four five six seven what i mean by index is this is zero sample first sample second sample third sample fourth sample fifth one sixth one and seventh one you have seven samples okay totally eight samples are there starting from zero okay now i'm just putting the in input sample index not the input sample here it is input sample index this is the index the zero one two three four five six seven are clear that's the index that i'm just dropping it here input sample index okay second step in the same step binary representation of it you have to go for a three bit binary representation for zero 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 it is zero 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 for one it is zero zero one for two for two can over what will you get for two binary number binary zero, number, one, number zero. okay good zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one not one 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 zero one 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 okay so we have taken the input sample index and we are given the binary representation now bit reversal bit reversal in binary bit reversal in binary what i do in bit reversal is just watch we are going to retain the first uh, the, uh, we are going to swap the first and last bits we are going to swap something like a mirror image okay something like a mirror image you're going to swap it for this case it is almost same zero 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 when you swap this one this will become 100 right this one goes here, this zero comes here. Swapping. Outermost bit sum to sample punning. Okay. What you'll get for 010? For 010, what you'll get? For 010. Okay, you'll get the same. 010. For 011, you'll get 110. Zero. Perfect. 110. Zero, zero, 001. One not one zero one 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 one. Okay. Now 
you convert bit reversed sample indices convert that back into uh, decimal digit bit reversed bit reversed sample index okay this is zero this is four this one is zero one zero it's two what is one one zero one one zero and a six 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 one five three seven what do you observe from this pattern what do you see from this one what you can you observe from this one can anyone tell what you observe from this one what you can see from this one idan blood input original and the pattern we have changed it to this pattern what do you observe from this pattern what do you observe from this pattern can you observe all the even terms group together all the odd terms group together see here all the even terms 0 4 2 6 is here all the odd terms are here okay again uh, this is going 0 2 here 4 6 here so one thing is all the even terms are here all the odd terms are here okay say so for, for example once you are made all the even terms here okay uh, so this will be like uh, say what are the even terms i'll just put like this So original was zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First, I'll pick out all the even terms: zero, two, four, six. All the odd terms: one, three, five, seven. Okay. This is in even. It is zero. Even. It is one. Even. It is two. Even. It is three. Okay. This is odd zero. Odd one. Odd. Two or three, okay. Then again, you pick out the even terms. Even terms is this, this. So zero, four, then two, six, one, five, then three, seven. See, we are actually dividing the original into even and odd terms, okay. That's what you got: zero, four, two, six, one, five, three, seven. Are you able to appreciate this one? Are you able to follow up to this point? You are able to follow up to this point. Just given. Okay. Any time you are not able to follow, just stop me. Okay. Okay, this first step is common for any n number. This input sample is not. We are not touching any input sample. Okay, this is common for any eight point DFT. Okay, suppose it's a four point DFT. For example, if it is a four point DFT, if it is a four point DFT, so this this will be like zero, one, two, three. It's a four point DFT. Zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one. Okay, so it'll uh, it'll take uh, two samples. So it'll it'll get the bit reversal pattern. So it'll have zero two one three. It'll have zero two one three. Okay, we'll see it later. So as of now, this is the first step. Step two. Step two, okay. We'll actually go with the diagram. We are going to make a diagram, okay. So I'm going to make a lot of straight lines. I need to make uh, seven straight lines. Three, four. Five, six, zero, one, two, three, four, seven, seven, seven points are clear. 
so make seven straight lines okay okay namak in the bit reversal panni or pattern vanchilla you got a bit reverse pattern okay so h of 0 h of 0 h of 4 h of 2 h of 6 h of 1 no line pon no liya h of 5 h of 3 i need to have one more line this is h of 7 okay h of 0 4 2 6 1 5 3 7 okay just fill in your data your data and actually what was your data my data h of n is equal to 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 okay so the index is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so h of 0 is 1 h of 0 is 1 h of 4 is 4 h of 2 is 3 h of 6 is 2 what is h of 1 h of 1 and 2 2 h of 5 3 h of 3 4 and h of 7 is 1 1 okay okay so input vand bit reversal pattern la irukum your input will be in bit reversal pattern okay now we'll go with the uh, basic calculation first step you're going to do a two point dft the abbe abbe rendu rendu eduthukonu you're going to do a two point dft you're going to do a two point dft okay so idoda weighing factors w just a minute for black white la edran inda edathula the weighing factor w 2 power 0 இந்த இடத்துல மைனஸ் w2 பவர் 0 இந்த இடத்துல w2 பவர் 0 இங்க மைனஸ் w2 பவர் 0 சேம் வே ஹியர் w2 பவர் 0 ஹியர் இட் இஸ் மைனஸ் w2 பவர் 0 ஹியர் இட் இஸ் w2 பவர் 0 ஹியர் இட் இஸ் மைனஸ் w2 பவர் 0 ஓகே so each butterfly you are going to calculate we'll take this alone we'll do it all, uh, separately and i'll show it okay i'm taking this part alone to show you what happens this is my butterfly here i have 1 and 4 1 irukku inga 4 irukku this is how i am putting my butterfly this is w2 power 0 this is minus w2 power 0 okay what is w2 wn nam munade paathutom it is e power minus j 2 pi by n wn is e power minus j 2 pi by n okay now uh, w2 is e power minus j 2 pi by 2 e power minus j pi okay anything w2 ena vanal irukum w2 is e power minus j pi fine now what you want is w2 power 0 what is w2 power 0 what you will get w2 power 0 anything to the power of 0 enna what is anything what is it? okay 
So whether it is W two zero, it is W four zero, W eight power zero, it is going to be only one. Okay. So this is as simple as the one one. This is minus one. Okay. So what you'll do is this factor you multiply. Okay. Uh, with one and add. So one plus four, it is five. It is one minus four. It is minus three. Clear? Are you able to follow this? One plus four, four into one. You are adding. So it is. It is one plus four. You are getting here. Here it is one plus minus four. One comes from here. Here it is four is multiplied with minus one. So it is minus four. You are adding these two. It is minus three. Are you able to follow this one? Are able to follow? Purida pa? Okay. Okay. Here we'll do C. So W two power zero is nothing but one only. So it is one plus four, five. One minus four, minus three. Minus three. Can you tell here what you'll get here? You get three two. Can you now or? This one is that W two zero. You get minus W two zero. That's here. Can you now or no? Bo. You just add these two put here, subtract these two put here. What is addition of these two? Five. Three minus two. One. One. Two plus three. Five. Two minus three. Minus one. Four plus one. Five. Four minus one. Three. Taken up to this step, all of you. Everyone has taken. Take up to this step. Shall I give you two more minutes? Please do it parallelly. Once everyone has completed up to this stage, give me a S in the chat window. Once everyone has completed up to this point. Okay. We'll go to the next step. Okay. Next step. Just see what I'm doing. So, if on the uh, we have taken two two, no. Now, first element and third element, you will make a butterfly. The second stage is first element and the third element. See, first, at the second element and fourth element, first and third, second and fourth. Okay, इंगी आधे मर दां. First and third, second and I mean first and third, second and fourth. First and third. This is first. Um, uh, first one, third one. Get the gang. इंगे सेकंड यूं फोर यूं बटरफ्लाई ले लिंक पनेर गया, ओके इंगे यूं फर्स्ट यूं थर्ड यूं सेकंड यूं फोर्थ यूं, ओके नाउ रिगार्डिंग द वेट्स, रिगार्डिंग द वेट्स, दिस इस डब्ल्यू फोर जीरो इधर फर्स्ट बटरफ्लाई, ओके येर इट इस माइनस डब्ल्यू फोर जीरो फर्स्ट बटरफ्लाई इंगे रखे Second butterfly. This is my second butterfly. This will be W four power one, and this is minus W four power one. Okay. First butterfly के weight है ना W four power zero minus W four power zero. Second butterfly के W four power one and minus W four power one. अरे हमारे इंदर तल पोड़ गया. Here it is. This is my first butterfly. W four power zero 
இங்கே வருது செகண்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளையோட எண்டிங் மைனஸ் டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் பவர் ஜீரோ செகண்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை இங்க இருக்கு டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் பவர் ஒன் மைனஸ் டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் பவர் ஒன் ஓகே ஆல்டர்னேட் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் எடுத்துக்கணும் ஒன் அண்ட் த்ரீ டூ அண்ட் ஃபோர் ஒன் அண்ட் த்ரீ டூ அண்ட் ஃபோர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டேஜுக்கு டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் பவர் ஜீரோ தான் வெயிட்டு செகண்ட் ஸ்டேஜுக்கு டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் பவர் ஒன்னு வெயிட் ஓகே டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் பவர் ஜீரோ டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் பவர் ஒன் டேக் அப் டு தி ஸ்டேஜ் யூஆர் ஆடிங் ஒன் அண்ட் த்ரீ ஒன்னா டூ அண்ட் ஃபோர் ஒன்னா ஒன் அண்ட் த்ரீக்கும் ஒரு பட்டர்ஃப்ளை டூ அண்ட் ஃபோருக்கு ஒரு பட்டர்ஃப்ளை ஓகே டன் just give a thumbs up instead of putting a yes so completed give a thumbs up okay now uh, we have to compute the values i'll use it here to compute the values we need w4 first what is w4 w4 is e power minus j 2 pi by 4 or it is e power minus j pi by 2 okay w4 is e power minus j pi by 2 so w4 power 0 is 1 w4 power 1 is e power minus j pi by 2 it is equal to cos pi by 2 minus j sin pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 this minus j so w4 is minus j w4 power 0 is 1 okay w4 if i making any mistake kindly tell me w4 power 0 is 1 w4 power 1 is minus j okay w4 power 0 is One W four power one is minus J. Here you W four power zero is there, but it is minus one here. Here it will become plus J. W four power one and the minus J. In that case, already one minus is there, plus J. One minus J minus one. here it will be j okay now we have to do the same computation now first case in the w4 power 0 or butterfly is nothing but addition and subtraction so 5 plus 5 i'll use yellow color itself 5 plus 5 10 5 minus 5 0 see this butterfly it has w4 power 0 only w4 power 0 it is 5 plus 5 inga 5 minus 5 inga okay in the in the butterfly it the po take this butterfly this butterfly goes like this what are the inputs uh, minus 3 and 1 minus 3 1 here it is w4 power 1 which is minus j here it is minus w4 power 1 it is j okay so what you will get enna varum solunga inda value idu kuda multiply panni rendu thai add pandrom enna varum inga enna varum what you will get here what what will be the answer here you are addition minus 3 plus this 1 into minus j 1 into minus j so it is minus 3 minus j in the edathile minus 3 plus j okay va wow? able to follow this this is a weight here your weight is multiplied 
இந்த கீழே இருக்கிறது கூட தான் வெயிட் மல்டிப்ளை பண்ணுறீங்க இந்த செகண்ட் டேர்ம் கூட தான் வெயிட் மல்டிப்ளை பண்ணுறீங்க இது கூட ஆட் பண்ணிடுறீங்க ஓகே ஸோ இயர் யூ வில் கெட் இந்த பட்டர்ஃப்ளை மைனஸ் த்ரீ மைனஸ் ஜே இயர் இட் இஸ் மைனஸ் த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் ஜே இப்போ பண்ணும் இல்லையா அதான் மைனஸ் த்ரீ மைனஸ் ஜே மைனஸ் த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் ஜே இந்த இடத்துல என்ன வரும் சொல்லுங்க பார்ப்போம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை இஸ் டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் போர் ஜீரோ தான் வாட் வில் கெட் இயர் வாட் இஸ் த வேல்யூ இயர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை இட் இஸ் டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் தான் வருது டபிள்யூ ஃபோர் போர் ஜீரோ தான் வெயிட்டு என்ன வரணும் அப்போ டென் அண்ட் இயர் இட் இஸ் ஜீரோ ஃபைவ் மைனஸ் ஃபைவ் இட் இஸ் ஜீரோ ஓகே இப்போ த செகண்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை for the second it is minus 1 3 is multiplied with minus j so it is minus 1 minus 3j in that la 3 is multiplied with j and it is added so it is minus 1 plus 3j okay minus 1 minus 3j minus 1 plus 3j take up to this point you have any doubts tell me kida irukka term eduthukrom with that you are multiplying the weight and you are adding to the first term okay so here it is first term is minus 1 the lower term is 3 it is multiplied with the weight minus j added to the first term so it is minus 1 minus 3j here i am taking the uh, second again for the the lower one 3 is multiplied with j added to the upper term so minus 1 plus 3j able to follow up to this point just put a s in the chat so first time it looks very big but once you start solving it will become very easy uh, the bigger challenge is 16 point dft this is 8 point dft 16 point dft will be bigger one 16.50 ft using normally they don't ask 16.50 ft it's very big and it is prone to make normally 8 point will be asked but if 16 point is asked you should be ready to answer that also able to follow up to this point just put a drop a s in the chat window or uh, give a mark emoji okay not able to follow just tell me you're not able to follow so i'll stop and i'll i'll, I'll again revise it from the first okay ipo ninga vandu alternate elements eduthinga liya ipo you're going to the last stage you're going to the last stage this is uh, this is one set this is one set okay now i'm going to pick out one from each set just see இதோட ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இதோட ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு ஜாயின் பை ஆ த பட்டர்ஃப்ளை த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் போத் இதான் இதோட ஃபர்ஸ்ட் செகண்ட் செட்டோட பர்ஸ்ட் இது ஓகே ஐம் ஜாயினிங் தீஸ் டூ இயர் வித் அ பட்டர்ஃப்ளை திஸ் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை மை செகண்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை மை தேர்ட் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை my fourth butterfly we normally get butterflies in stomach but this is a different kind of butterfly okay i'll take the first first and first of this one second and second of this one third and third fourth and fourth okay this is a structure you'll be getting now the weighting weightage part for the first butterfly it is w8 power 0 where the first butterfly ending here minus w8 power 0 for the second butterfly the weightage is w8 power 1 w8 power 1 second butterfly is here minus w8 power 1 inga irka weight 
for the third butterfly the weight is w8 square this is my third butterfly the third butterfly is ending here minus w8 square for the fourth butterfly here w8 power cube here it is minus w8 power cube okay so this is the first stage second stage third stage and fourth stage okay we are going to get first the weightage of these values okay we are going to get the weightage for these values then we'll do other things taken the diagram first give a thumbs up once you have taken the diagram we are coupling uh, even set length first to odd set length first to even set length second odd set length second even set length third odd set length third and even set length four and odd set length four okay now okay we'll do the computation separately and then uh, we'll uh, join back here so first w8 power 0 first we'll see what is w8 w8 is e power minus j 2 pi by 8 which is nothing but e power minus j pi by 4 what it is cos pi by 4 minus j sin pi by 4 can anyone get me the value of cos pi by 4 cos pi by 4 minus j sin pi by 4 what is cos 45 degree 1 by root 2 right what is 1 by root 2 value in decimal what is cos 45 cos pi by 2 pi cos pi by 4 sorry cos pi by 4 just use your calculators and get me the value cos pi by 4 okay good so it is 0.707 minus j sin pi by 4 is also same 0.707 okay this is w8 so first w8 power 0 already we know that it is 1 w8 power 1 it is 0.707 minus j 0.707 w8 square w8 square okay Uh, either you can square this or e power minus j pi by 4 whole square so 2 2 gets cancelled so it is e power minus j pi by 2 e power minus j pi by 2 just now we have seen e power minus j pi by 2 this is e power minus j pi by 2 it is minus j so w8 square is minus j and w8 cube is multiply these two multiply these two you will get minus 0.707 minus j 0.707 okay w8 square is minus j w8 எடுத்துட்டா pi by 4 எடுத்துட்டா this is my w8 squared it so it e power minus j pi by 2 it is minus j W8 cube is nothing but W8 square into W8 power one. That is W8 cube. You are multiplying these two. So you're getting when you multiply these two, this multiply you'll get this factor minus into minus plus J square is minus one. So it is minus 0.707 minus J 0.707. Okay, you got the four terms. Okay, 
So we'll take one by one each butterfly so that it will be easier for you. My first butterfly is very easy, 1010. See this one. It is W840. It is very easy to tell. What is what is the value I'll get, get here? See this one. First butterfly. First butterfly is here you have 10, here also you'll have 10. Weightage is W840. W840 is this is 1, this is uh, 0.707 minus J0.707. This is minus J, this is minus 0.707 minus j 0.707 this will be minus of it this will be minus 1 this will be uh, negative of it okay so multiply with the minus 1 so it is minus 0.707 uh, plus j 0.707 wh square is j square uh, what will get minus j okay minus j so we'll get uh, plus j so here it is minus 0 0.707 sorry what will get um, this into this okay so we'll get uh, j square, it's 0 0.707 uh, minus 0 0.707 j, right? Anywhere I'm going mistake? W8 power 1 is, this is minus of it, okay? This is minus of uh, W8 cube. So this will be wrong. This part is wrong. Minus W8 cube is, this is W8 cube. Negative of it. 0 0.707 uh, plus J 0 0.707. Okay. This will be they're getting, I'm getting. We'll take the first one. 10, 10. Adi easy. Nam easy a put long. 10, 10 is W840. It is 10 plus 10. It is 20. 10 minus 10 is 0. That step is easy. First step is easy. First flag or a weight on the very own one down. Okay. One minus one down. So 10 plus 10. It is 20. 10 minus 10. It is 0. We'll take the second one. Second butterfly. Second butterfly. Okay. Second butterfly ke input in a minus three minus j. See this is the butterfly. Minus three minus j render to the first two elements. Minus three minus j. No element in a minus one minus three j minus one minus three j. Okay, the render the nodular curve. This is w eight power one. This is minus w eight power one. Okay, so what I'll be getting here is minus 3 minus j plus uh, double uh, either value in a minus 1 minus 3j w8 power 1 in a what is w8 power 1 this one point seven not seven minus j 0 0.707 
If you use your calculator, it will get the result in minutes, seconds, not minutes, seconds. This is W8 power 1. Okay. Get me the answer. Here it is minus 3 minus J minus minus 1 minus 3J into 0 0.707 minus J 0 0.707. minus 3 minus j first multiply these two okay then you add with this result what will be getting can anyone do the calculation you can only solve with the scientific calculator So it is, uh, I'll put it in complex mode. Someone can solve me and give me answer. Three. Minus one minus three. into uh, 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707 i this value is minus 2.828 minus 1.414 j this result plus minus 3 minus i so if you add these two you're getting minus 5.828 minus 2.414 j please tell me you're getting this result here it is minus 3 minus j What will be getting if that's the case? I'm just using the calculator. For this case, I'm getting minus point, sorry, minus point one seven two plus point four one four J. Okay. So this result I have to drop it here. Where I'll be getting dub this is my second butterfly. Here I'll be getting minus five point eight two eight minus J two point four one four. And the butterfly would result in second part. Here it is minus point one seven two plus j point four one four okay this is the second in the Marie you have to go for the third and fourth butterfly we'll take the second butterfly second but third butterfly can you tell what is the answer you will get third butterfly third butterfly parangai third butterfly what is the term you have third butterfly 
what is the third butterfly you have zero and zero see both these terms are zero so this is zero this is also zero third term is zero and zero okay fourth term is this one fourth term is this one this butterfly will take it again fourth butterfly my fourth butterfly is what are the inputs tell me the input minus 3 plus j minus 3 plus j and minus 1 plus 3j minus 1 plus 3j okay here it is w8 cube this minus w8 cube what is w8 cube here you have the result minus 0.707 minus j 0.707 so it is minus of that okay w8 cube is minus 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 now this part this part is minus 3 plus j plus minus 1 plus 3j into minus 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 okay so can anyone do the calculation tell me the result minus 3 plus i plus minus 1 plus 3 i into minus 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707 i okay if you do this you'll get minus 0.172 minus 0.414 j similarly here it is minus 3 plus j minus minus 1 plus 3 j into 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 okay going to get a minus alone so you'll be getting it as minus 5.828 plus 2.414 j okay this is the result you'll be getting so this results i have to carry forward there okay if you carry forward that result here for the third butterfly for the fourth butterfly it is zero minus point minus point one seven two minus j point four one four and here it is minus 5.828 plus j 2.414 okay you can see complex conjugates in dft i will get complex conjugates these two are complex conjugates okay so that's our final result so we have to populate this part again that will be our final result so my final result will be for the given sequence 
एच ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर फोर थ्री टू वन माई एच ऑफ के इज गिवन एस ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव पॉइंट एट टू एट माइनस जे टू पॉइंट फोर वन फोर जीरो माइनस पॉइंट वन सेवन टू माइनस जे पॉइंट फोर वन फोर कमा जीरो कमा माइनस पॉइंट वन 